Can you elaborate the um, privileges of uh, women in the Islamic society uh, in terms of protection and uh, respect? Because a lot of uh, the Western society is not aware of this uh, matter, please. Well, once again, I'm going to have to say that this, you're not talking about a monolith. There's, you cannot speak about, and, and unfortunately, every, every in educated discussion seems to focus on, in, on women in Islam in this ra rather stunted, myopic way. There are Muslim women who hold high positions of authority uh, and uh, who, uh, who are abused. And there are Muslim women who, are, who live simple lives who are not abused. It's very difficult for anyone who understands the Islamic community to accept that Islamic law has this direct impact. It is both two things about it that seem to stem from, 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 from such perspectives. That Islamic law has a direct impact on the lives of Muslims, and that impact is pervasive and universal. Both of these absurdities go as, 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 as being generally accepted knowledge today. It is neither direct nor is it universal. It varies from place to place. And if one has to do cultural parallels, then, one would, then, then these things would become more sensible. If one has to look at Muslim women living in Africa and comparing them to Afri Christian women living in Africa, you would see greater similarities. What is happening now is that you're having Muslim women living in Africa being compared to Western Christian women living in downtown New York. Obviously, you're comparing two different societies. Compare Hindu women in India to, Hindu Mus to, to Muslim women in India, then you're making a regional cultural comparison. But when you, when you do this kind of comparing one's ideals to someone else's realities, then you will have a, a constant mismatch. And if it is to score points, then so be it. And if it is to show that one society is better than the other, th that too. But if, you, if we re truly respect and understand the need to, un to, to work more cohesively in this global village, then we must look at the world in more than simply religious terms.